Greetings, Cadet. I am General Corella Ash, leader of the Special Forces Division, Wraith Command. Welcome to the Special Forces Wraith Training, Level 1. Your exemplary performance in basic training and in the field as a tank pilot has brought you to my attention. Your superiors and myself feel you are ready for a more important assignment, the Wraith. The Wraith assault tank is a highly mobile, sophisticated, and lethal weapon when piloted by a properly trained individual. I have personally designed this holographic program to furnish worthy cadets with this training. Each exercise provides an environment to foster combat skills. After completion of this training simulation, you will have the skills to confront any opposition. Sergeant Jepps will guide your training. Good luck, Cadet. Greetings, Cadet. This is General Corella Ash. Welcome to the Special Forces Wraith Training, Level 2. The Wraith is the Rebels' best weapon against the Imperium, but a single weapon cannot win a war. In this holographic program, you will learn how to build and command an army. A disciplined group of troops can overcome any seemingly overwhelming force. It is up to you to bring focus and direction to your troops. Good luck, Cadet. After the destruction of the mining facility on Ishkar, our rebel spy ships have tracked the fleeing Imperium forces to the planet Thanon. Heavy Imperium presence leads us to believe that the planet houses facilities of great importance. In order for us to launch an effective campaign on Thanon, you must first establish supply lines and a comlink outpost on the nearby planet Mercon. Establishing a comlink will not be easy as our spies report heavy defenses. Build your base and then await further instructions. Further decryption of the Zion database has revealed more details on the pact between the Zaya and the Imperium governments. We have learned the Zaya have furnished the Imperium with the plans for a weapon of mass destruction called the Trian Particle Launcher, capable of burning an entire planet's atmosphere. In return, the Imperium provided the Zaya with the resources to build an unknown device. The launcher requires the Xeno mineral from Ishkar to be refined. Our comlinks on Mercon have confirmed the location of a refinery on Thanon. Rebel bases have been established near this refinery and have been under attack for several days. Your first objective is to escort a supply convoy to this base and aid in its fortification. Second, you must destroy the Xeno mineral refinery. We believe the refinery to be heavily fortified and well defended against both aerial and ground attacks. Commander, our base on the planet Zula is under attack. We are holding them at bay on our southern frontier, but an Imperium... Zaya squadron attacking our air valves. The air valves provide oxygen for 200,000 underground residents. Protect the air valves at all costs. I repeat, protect the oxygen air valves at all costs. The source of the attack on Central Command has been attributed to an Imperium base on the faraway planet Kevor. Spies have located the Trian Particle Launching Facility in the planet's southern hemisphere. With Central Command safely evacuated from Zula and aboard the battlecruiser Hermes, we will initiate one final attack on the Imperium. We have recently learned that Emperor Castan himself is located on the planet Kevor to oversee operations. Your objective is to infiltrate the Imperium planet of Kevor, eliminate all Imperium presence, disable the Trian particle launcher, and eliminate Emperor Castan himself. This is our final stand, Commander. Good luck. Deathmatch pits two commanders in a Wraith versus Wraith battle to the death. Since there are no bases to build, the pilot with the superior Wraith skills will survive. Extra ammo and call-in units will be placed in the environment to help each of you. Let the best commander win! Siege mode is a battle of conquest that will determine once and for all who is the best trained all-around Wraith commander of the Rebellion. Each commander will begin in control of one Citadel base frame. There are other unoccupied base frames throughout the environment. Build your army wisely and eliminate all enemy bases. Victory awaits only one! 
At 1800 hours, in a remote section of the Zion frontier, the planet Xerxes was devastated by a destructive energy weapon. Our comlink stations have traced the origin of the attack to the Lian sector. The Rebel Federation has been placed on full alert. Our spies have recently detected several strange transmissions from this sector and believe they originate on the planet Janoff. Your objective is to infiltrate the planet and look for signs of Imperium presence. We have constructed a citadel base frame to provide you with support units. Establish this base to support your war effort. It will be capable of producing both infantry and cruiser tank factories. Good luck, Commander. In the last stand, each commander will take control of a citadel turret, the most powerful guns in the rebel army. This will test your ability to defend your bases from enemy attacks. Beware, commanders. The attacking enemy units will be swift and deadly. Stay alive, and victory will be yours. Wraith vs. Citadel is an epic military battle pitting an unstoppable force against an immovable object. Choose between the mobility and destructive versatility of the Wraith or the monolithic power of the Citadel. In Infantry Crush, both commanders pilot individual wraiths in a quest to eliminate as many enemy infantry as possible. You must run them down. Be sure to clean out the front grill after this one. A Zaya scan of the planet Janoff yielded no evidence of a weapon capable of producing the blast that devastated Xerxes. However, reasons for Imperium fortification on the planet Janoff are still unclear. With help from Zal Kalar and the Zaya forces, we have set up several bases in the area and are currently investigating. Recently, we lost contact with one of these bases on the planet Nartooth. We are assuming that the Imperium have eliminated our defenses in the area and have taken over our base. This outpost is essential to the rebel Zaya Alliance as it serves as an important comlink data retrieval station that monitors all reconnaissance of the Zaya Beta sector. If the comlink is destroyed, our early warning systems, EWS, would be completely debilitated and reconnaissance of the sector would cease. Your objective is to infiltrate this area, destroy all enemy units, and re-establish a base near the comlink station. You will be equipped with a Zaya Dreadnought call-in. Good luck, Commander. Scans of the Zaya Beta sector have recorded increasing numbers of new Imperium outposts in the Zion frontier. We recently sent several spy reconnaissance ships to scan the last Zaya quadrant in the Lian sector. At 0300 hours, we received a distress call from the spy ship Canaris that indicated it went down on the planet Dakar. Your objective is to locate the ship and rescue any survivors. Once you have found the Canaris, we will send in a medical rescue vehicle to meet you. When the medical rescue vehicle has arrived, you must safely escort it to a teleporter pad recently set up by our rebel forces. We can now supply your expedition with Hawk AAV factories. AAVs draw enemy fire, effectively attack tanks and infantry, and hold their own in air combat situations. Good luck, Commander. Information gathered from the spy ship Canaris indicates a large deployment of Imperium troops and hardware on the Zaya planet of Dante. Zal Kalar insists these findings are inaccurate and has invited us to inspect the planet. We have dropped a citadel base frame near your drop zone. Thunderbird-class bombers have now been added to your arsenal of units. Eradicate the Imperium presence from the area. Leave no unit standing. Zal Kalar has issued an apology declaring that the Zaya Directorate had no prior knowledge of the Imperium's presence on the planet Dante. They have now informed us that they require our immediate assistance. According to Zal Kalar, five hours ago the Imperium launched an attack on the Zaya planet of Gorvati. Many lives were lost. 
The Imperium now controlled half of the planet, including the fortress Kithron. In the chaos, key members of the Zaya Directorate were abducted and taken to this fortress. Zal Kalar has requested our assistance in recovering their captured leaders. The Zaya presence during the mission will be minimal while their militia fortify their city borders against further Imperium attacks. Good luck, Commander. Meet the small Zion team and locate the Zaya Directorate. The reasons behind the Zaya betrayal are still unclear. All attempts at diplomacy have failed. What is clear is that the Zaya are now allied with Castan and the Imperium. Intelligence recently reported that the Zaya military's chief weapons engineer and his team were passengers on an unidentified ship that recently sped through the rebel territory in the Ashanti sector. At 0400 hours, this ship was detected nearing the heavily guarded Zion base on the desert planet Ron. Rebel comlinks have detected large fleets of interstellar Imperium transports in transit to the planet. Rebel Command feels this base could hold clues to the Zaya betrayal and give us further insight into the plans of Castan and Zal Kalar. Your objective is to secure the base and to intercept the Zaya weapons team for questioning. We will be able to provide you with destroyer-class tanks. Their performance is much improved over the older cruiser class. Interrogation of the Zion weapons team was less than fruitful. They alluded to some ancient religious scrolls referring to a race called the Old Ones. They also made several references to an artifact left by the Old Ones that will deliver them. The only useful information gained from the weapons team was the location of a Zaya database complex on the planet Zythos. Unfortunately, the Zaya detected our initial scans of the planet and have begun planting antimatter explosives throughout their facilities. We have reason to believe the database complex contains valuable information that might lead us closer to locating the Imperium's new weapon of mass destruction. Disarm the bombs and save the database complex. You have been given a limited amount of call-ins to assist you, which will include a stronger, swifter Eagle-class AAV. Use your resources wisely. Attention, Rebel Fleet! By now you should be passing the Fuxul Nebula and nearing the planet Ishkar. Information gained by Wraith-1 on Scythos has revealed plans to build a technologically advanced construct of an as-of-yet unknown purpose. How the Imperium and the Zaya conceive this technology is still unknown. What is certain, however, is that they require immense quantities of Xeno mineral to fuel this device. In your upcoming mission, we will strike a deadly blow to the Imperium and Zaya war effort by destroying the Xeno mineral mining operation on Ishkar. Await further orders on the planet's surface. I am counting on you all. When the Imperium was formed, we knew times would change. They took our cities and our freedom. Then we found the weapon of our salvation. The Wraith, stolen from the Imperium's own armory, is the only one of its kind. Rebellion rallied around it as the symbol of our fight. The war was long and hard fought. We won. The Imperium war machine seemed defeated. 
We thought Emperor Castan was finished. We were wrong. Come for us to lead our masters into this quadrant. 